Hi. <laughs> good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Whatever time of day you're watching this, my name is Steven. This is my beautiful wife. Lauren. We are SNL, and you're watching Thriving Thursdays. Thursdays. Right. Hey, <laughs> what we're going to talk about today, please hit us with the topic. Okay. Leaving a legacy. <laughs> Leaving a legacy. Woo! Oh, gosh. That's what I'm talking about. See, we're outside. I, I got to do I need that. an earplug for this time. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to turn that down. Um, Woo! <laughs> last, do it like time, that. last time we talked about finances, a little bit yes. of pressure on finances and budgeting and emergency fund and why that was important. And that kind of leads, I think, to legacy. So leaving a legacy for your kids and just also um, thinking about with all the stuff going on with the COVID-19 um, people I think are rethinking what things that they thought were important and reprioritizing yeah. and I was thinking about what kind of legacy are you leaving what kind of legacy do you want to leave yes so. yes all good stuff is what I'm talking about <laughs> ready ready so what's what would you define as a legacy all right, so for me, a legacy, I would say it's what I would want my wife or my children. Um, basically, when, when I've, my life is expired and I've gone on to a better place. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, ideally, what I'd like to do is to leave something that was gonna, that's going to make the world better. It's going to make my family better, um, to have the best memories of me, but more, more so challenge uh, those that I leave behind to be better human beings um, for my, my, my children to be better um, godly uh, people and, and to lead others to Christ and, and really to, to do their best uh, that they know how to raise their children in the same way. So for me the legacy that I leave is uh, how I would define a legacy is really to take what I've learned um, take the experiences that I've been through and use those to propel our children to do better. Um, my uh, legacy for me is about improving the next generation. Okay. So what is a legacy for you then? Um, when I think about legacy, I think of like legends. Like yes, okay. Michael Jordan or someone that leaves a lasting imprint or um, impression on people. Um, Mother Teresa. Yeah. Um, so it's not always someone rich and famous but sometimes just in your even in your community maybe what do you want to be known for for loving others for helping others for serving others um, I do <laughs> that would be absolutely great. um and just what you know what life is about what you care about what kind what um like everyone hopes that you know you go before your kids but your kids will remember of you and think of you and pass on stories and um I think it's interesting um I just thought about how much more I would love to sit like my grandpa's feet and even, you know, your grandma and stuff and he hearing some of the stories because um, I think as time goes on, we move further, like, in generations. We don't live right next door to our family. Yeah. And a lot of people live maybe in different states or whatever. And just having that oral um, storytelling thing happening. Oh, like, yeah. Leaving a kind of imprint on future generations so absolutely sorry we picked a windy day to record this <laughs> the hair keeps going <laughs> in my face and my mouth <laughs> yeah I, I mean and, and that's the thing it's you know what legacy do you talking to all of you out there we see you you <laughs> see us but we see you I'm kidding we don't actually see you but I'm just talking to all of you out there everyone out there knife hand you knife hand talking people. to you out there what legacy do you <laughs> want to leave behind? Okay? Um, yeah. Are you looking to leave, you know, wealth behind? You, you want to build mm -hmm. up enough wealth to take care of yourself, get yourself a cushion, 
and then leave your children and your grandchildren an inheritance like the Bible talks about? Um, do you want to uh, be a th philanthropist and maybe don't have children to leave your inheritance to, but you'd like to leave your wealth when you pass on to, you know, hospitals um, for cancer uh, awareness and, and research and, and, you know, for things like, uh, you know, sickle cell anemia and, and um, uh, what's the other one? The, the one with the... the CF. CF, there you go. Cystic fibrosis, you know, are, are you looking to leave a legacy that, that can expand research and knowledge in order to improve or even cure diseases that we're currently dealing with, like currently we're dealing with COVID-19? And so, you know, what kind of legacy are you looking to leave? Um, I look at the things that I do, that my, the, the choices I'm making daily, and I have to, to try and project, okay, my end goal is to leave this legacy of what it means to be a godly man to my children. Um, so I'm doing the best that I can to, to be a loving husband and to be a loving father, um, to be a loving brother yeah. to my sisters and a, a loving son to my mother. And, and so for me, all those things will add up to the legacy that I leave them. But not, know, just, just not just money, like you said, by loving, but also maybe you're a social activist. Or you can advocate for change in your community and different things, maybe in mental health or health care, like you were saying, about um, that, um, or just social justice and reform. I am, like, we need people to do all those things, whatever you're called to do. That's kind of also, I guess, the legacy is kind of part of your calling and stepping into that, too. Absolutely. So, and I, mean, I think everyone should should write, like, a, their story down, even if they don't, like, publish it for their kids to have that. Um, just yeah. what would you like to say to your children? Yeah, um, or just letters, you... maybe. I've heard of an idea of, oh, sorry, I keep putting a hair in my face, my mouth. Um, about someone writing an email to their, like opening an email account and writing like every week a note to their <laughs> their child. I definitely don't have time to do that, but I thought about that like yearly or having something, saving memories and making like a memory book for the kids. Yeah. Something, or collage pictures. Yeah, photo albums aren't as popular as they used to be. Um, we still have a few photo albums ourselves, but I remember like growing up as a kid, like the photo album was how you learned the history of your family because your family tree was typically in the photo album. Whenever there was a family reunion or any kind of event where family got together, uh, maybe just old family pictures, they're all in that photo album. When you're going through with, you know, in my, in case, my case, like my great grandmother, my grandmother, my mother, you know, uh, aunts and, and uncle. Uh, we're going through the photo albums together and they're, they're laughing and joking and reminiscing about stories and whatever memories come up when they see the pictures and telling us about it. And so for us, that's what we were able to carry forward as we were, you know, taking on our new generation. And then now we have kids and we're trying to find ways in our, you know, advanced technological world to still have some, uh, some form of that kind of photo album. So yeah, like I said, we have a hard copy photo album that we keep. And then we also have like iPhotos and every once in a while I'll pull up iPhotos on our TV and we'll cycle through like old pictures and we'll talk to our kids about different yeah. things and different times of our lives. And, and, you know, even bringing up some of the, the hard stuff, you know, hey, this is when, you know, daddy was having a really hard time, you know, mentally and emotionally dealing with what he saw in combat. And, and so this is one of the things that happened in our life because we want them to know it's like, we don't, want you to have the, we don't want them to have a misconception about what life was like, that it was just this, you know, heavenly bliss and there was never any hard times that mom and dad fell on. Well, kids know. Kids, kids can feel and sense things even if you don't say it. So I think being age appropriate, appropriately honest with them is, is kind of a good way to do that. But Absolutely. <laughs> so we just want to, um, you know, talk to you guys about leaving legacy. If you haven't thought about it, this is a great time to do it. You, you know, hopefully you've got some more time on your hands where you can do some things more for yourself and prepare yourself going back into, um, the, you know, the working environment. Um, and if you're back in the work environment already or you never left, that's okay. You know, this is a great time. Find some time. Make sure you make time for yourself. Yeah. It's like we talk about self-care. This is kind of along the lines of self-care. What is your legacy? Because when you think about what your legacy is going to be and what kind of legacy you want to leave, then you can kind of guide what you're doing, whether mm -hmm. it be how you work or what you do outside of work. Um, so like you goal can, setting. Yeah, it'll like help, you, it'll setting help guide you in your goal setting, exactly. Like Making milestones. Right. Absolutely, giving you, yeah. a, giving you an outline for life, and that way you can improve 
what you're doing, you'll, you'll be more fulfilled because you'll know that you're, do, you're making steps in the right direction towards what you ultimately want to do is leave a great legacy behind for you, your family, and the world to be able to digest and hopefully improve upon. And I always think about someone needs your story, your struggles, your whatever. Someone yeah. needs that to encourage them. And we all need someone in life. We're, built, we're made for relationships, so people Absolutely. are made for relationships. So. What the, the message we've been seeing a lot of uh, going around in the U.S. ever since uh, COVID-19 is we're better together. You know, we need each other. We need to be supporting each other, not yeah. finding ways to separate and divide and tear each other down, but There's, ways to bring yeah. together, find similarities, and let's find a way to There's bring like, the human race, one race. There's research that says... Um, there's actually research that that shows when people are lonely, they actually die sooner, even more than ha old age or having like some kind of uh, sickness or illness. That being lonely because we're we're so made for a relationship with others, really. So we hope you thrive. That's right. It's Thursday. <laughs> keep thriving. Keep thriving. Keep thriving. And remember, we want to challenge you this week. Find time to sit down and think about what your legacy will be. What legacy do you want to leave for, your, for your, your offspring? What legacy do you want to leave for your family, your friends, and the world, your community? You know, what legacy do you want to leave behind? Thank you so much for listening. So, the last thing I want to leave you with is make sure that you keep it's thriving. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's Thriving Thursday. Before you go, make sure you hit the like and the share. That's right, over in front of Lauren is the like. And down in front of me is the shit. No, we know. Don't hit the actual cloud. Down okay. below that, please hit the like, the share. Make sure you subscribe. You know, go ahead and subscribe to our page. And we'll keep on putting out these videos. This is, again, the season finale for season four. But we look forward to putting out more videos for you guys to enjoy, for us to learn and grow together. We yeah. love you guys. Keep thriving. Keep thriving. All right. I want to let you know, this is Seasons 4 Final Finale. Final Finale? Fin no. Finale, no. Finale, no. Finale, Finale. No, Finale, Finale. I can't get it it's out. This is Finale. It's a season. <laughs> Finale? It's the season's end. The end of the season. All right, it's Season 4. It's going to be May. Because it's May. That's right. It is May. It is May. Okay. Outstanding. And you guys hear a beautiful voice, yeah, too. Right. I love it. I You're love right. it. All right. What? Try that again. Thursday or Thursdays? I made Thursday. it well just now. Dang it's just it. one thing. It's right. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll finish it out. Done. Son.